Hello everybody, welcome back to Blues Focus TV for yet another full-time match reaction video and a fantastic result last night for Blues beating Reading by three goals to two. Now, Reading have had a very good start to the season. They sat three points above us before last night, but we've managed to leapfrog them into seventh place and they've certainly got some good players on that team sheet, but we did manage to edge past them by just a goal. We did go three goals up, uh, conceded two late goals, but it never really like looked like Reading were going to get back into the game. Uh, so a really good result for us last night. We started the game in great fashion very early on within just a few minutes Troy Deeney managed to bag his first goal of the game at 600th professional appearance for Troy Deeney last night as well so he had an excellent game to top off a great career milestone but a nice ball from Bakuna he did really well to work himself some space um, crossed it into the box with his left foot and the Reading defender sort of lazily stuck out a foot Troy Deeney was in an offside position uh, but because it did deflect off the Reading defender the goal stood I mean he took it really well hit it across body with his right foot um, certainly in that position it is very easy for something to go wrong um, but he took it really nicely hit it into the bottom left hand corner to give Blues a 1-0 lead and not too long later Troy Deeney did manage to double his and Blues' his tally he won us uh, a penalty for me in my opinion I probably would say it wasn't a penalty uh, Sartre seemed to put in a sliding challenge and it almost looked like to me Deeney sort of ran into him or ran over him um, it didn't look like a penalty for me. Some people think it is, which is fair enough. Um, I think from a non-biased point of view, I'd say it probably wasn't. I'd be very frustrated um, if that came against Blues. Um, but Troy Deeney did excellently to win it again. Took the penalty, and I love Troy Deeney's penalties. He doesn't mess about, does he? Um, you see all these players these days try something a little bit fancy, whether it's a hop and a skip, whether it's a delay. Um, but you know exactly what you're going to get with Troy Deeney. He's just going to smash it into the back of the net, and that's exactly what he did. Um, it's a fantastic penalty for him getting his two goals and whilst we're on the topic of, of Troy Deeney, he was by far our man of the match last night. Um, this season he's really come into his own, he's been honestly superb for us, um, so happy he had a great game last night because as good as he's been, I feel he's still, and I think he'll feel this, he's still lacking a couple of goals. Um, so to get two last night and play, play brilliantly around those two goals as well, um, he'll be over the moon with that and rightly so because he was superb. Um, and as I said, a great way to mark 600 appearances. But again, not too long after that, all three of our goals came in the first half. Tahitha Chong managed to make it three. Um, a really nice over-the-top through ball by Hannibal, which should have been cleared, no doubt, by the Reading defender, um, but simply slipped underneath him. Uh, Chong took it well, though. Still had a lot of work to do. Took it around the keeper and simply had to tap it into an empty net. I think Reading will be extremely frustrated with the three goals they conceded um, because they happened, obviously, in the first half very, very early on. Um, but not only that, I think all three could have been prevented um, if they were a bit more short assuring in their clearances. Certainly the first and third goal easily could have been cleared, very easily. Um, in terms of the second goal, I'd say it wasn't a penalty. So looking at it from a Reading point of view, they'll be gutted with those first three goals they conceded. Um, and they certainly need to assure up in defence um, looking at that first half. But second half... I'd say the first sort of 40 minutes of the second half, or 35 minutes, sorry, um, were very much something of nothing in terms of that. No, neither team really had too many chances. Um, we were obviously sitting pretty deep, I'd say. Um, we did very well in limiting the number of chances we gave Reading um, because obviously with strikers like Miete, Shane Long, Luka Zhao coming off, off the bench, um, Ince as well, they've got some very good forward options there. Um, and I think we did brilliantly uh, to stop to stop too many chances uh, getting through to John Ruddy. But they did score their first in about the 81st minute. Um, probably should have been defended by Jordan James and Sanderson at the back post. Uh, James seemed to go up for it and miss it. Um, bit disappointing, but it's one of those things. Thankfully, it didn't uh, impact the overall scoreline. So a goal that probably could have been prevented on our end. Um, but they made it 3-1 in about the 82nd minute. And then in the 94th, 95th minute, they managed to get their second. Um Again, maybe could have been prevented. I think it was just unfortunate that it came off the, the foot of Mark Roberts uh, and went past John Ruddy. Um, on another day, that doesn't happen, but it's just one of those goals that go in in football. Um, they did have one more attack before the end of the game, but Troy Deeney did brilliantly to defend it to uh, allow us to win uh, three goals to two. I thought defensively, though, we were solid last night despite our two goals. Uh, I think just two lapses in concentration at the back. Um, were at fault for those goals last night. But I think aside from that, we did very well to limit Reading's chances, given how good they are going forward. 
Uh, I thought the midfield, if Bielik, Hannibal and Chong were superb last night, I thought Chong had a really, really good game, probably one of his best he's had in a blue shirt. And then obviously the strikers um, or in Chong and Dini. Sorry, Bakuna played attacking midfield last night. Two strikers in Chong and Dini were superb. Obviously, Dini speaks for himself. And as I said, Chong, I think, had one of his best games. We've got Bernie and Hull now uh, to finish off 2022 and then into 2023 we go. As I said, seventh in the table. Um, we're very close to that playoff place, but obviously there are games to be played today, uh, so we do expect to drop down a little bit, but that's not the end of the world. So thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Keep right on.